morning. Here we Good are. Morning. Here Hello. We're, we waited too late. Doug's Good talking now. Morning. We're at the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri with Doug and Stacy. And we're so excited to be here. <laughs> and Doug's got a microphone. Lord help us all. During during the presentations in this room, there will be no activity at this side table. We want to keep it quiet so we have to learn and know. Please sit on your hands if you have to. I'm interested in this if it'll help you. Oh, watch that. Oh, so I want to ask, do any of y'all already make bread here in the room? Oh, so a good thing for y'all. That's great. Um, I want to, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to jump right in. I want to show you my favorite bread. It's our pita bread, and I'm going to make it up. And also, I have, I don't have enough of these to go around. But I do have the two recipes that I'm going to be making. So even if you want to take a picture of it to have it on your phone, and there's, a, there's I think I have 20-something copies. I ran out of paper. But I will say this, because I am going to roll this out in the next class, and it's not going to be easy, and it's probably going to be ugly, because it, this does so much better after it's been refrigerated. So this, this pita bread is not going to be refrigerated, obviously. All right, so that was a half a cup of water and a fourth of a cup of sourdough starter. Well, day one is in the books of the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri, and we are back at our comfy little campsite at Woodsy Acres Campground. Well, my bad. I said Woodsy Acres. I've been saying Woodsy Acres. Nope. It's Woody's Acres. I think you can find them on Facebook, I believe. 
Yep, and it was a great place to have to stay overnight. It was quiet, and we slept good in. What's his name? What's the van's name? Um, Mr. Haney. Mr. Haney. But Mr. Haney didn't sound quite as clanky as he did the first time. He sure didn't. <laughs> anyway, so we're glad to be here, kind of before dark, and can settle in and relax for a little while. Yep. And the, the weather has been perfect. It's, it's supposed to really get down nice. to 59 degrees 59. here tonight. I brought a sweatsuit. I think it's getting down to 112 in Brookhaven tonight. Something. Anyway, all right. We'll bring some cool air down with us. Yeah. See you in a bit. So we're going to talk to you about why I was able, we were able, to come out of that basically unscathed, at least for a few years which is, I have an updated slide in, in this program because I, I had to revisit some part of this uh, uh, two years ago. I've seen it where they've had a whole room full of people kind of like this, and then they've set it up where someone would run through and snatch a purse, right? And then the, they would talk about that actual event and they couldn't get the colors of the shirt right, they couldn't get any of the descriptions right on, and it happened right there. So I just wanted to right. I appreciate that, yeah, that's yeah. good. And the reason why is because those people who were in there were shocked right. by the, in, the insertion of that event that they weren't expecting. Remember something they weren't expecting? Their heart rates went up, their brains performed physical changes, and their survival had nothing to do with the color of that guy's shirt. So the brain just threw that away. That's right. <laughs> Man, another awesome conference in the books. Man, we are at the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri, and it's a blast. Lots of people are learning stuff. We got tons of workshops and information being going on. We got air conditioning if you don't like the heat. Yeah. We got tents if you what like heat? the heat. Heat, what heat? It's been really nice. It's been really nice. For some reason in the Midwest, it breaks right at that first week of August. We're four years in, and we've had great weather every year. So. It's been great. And, and how about the riverboat cruise? Awesome. And here's the thing. The thing I love about this conference is every presenter, you walk away with actionable information. And they're accessible. And they're accessible. You can talk to every presenter one-on-one. -on -one. They take the time to talk to you. God, that's a great point. I haven't thought about that. You're exactly right. These are real people with real world experience and real ideas. So look, here's my question. When are tickets for the next year's conference going to be available? Do you know that yet? I will have those tickets. Um, we're going to do a pre-sale starting today. So we'll have tickets. These are some of the homestead homies that come up here. <laughs> Isn't awesome. that sweet? But well, we're going to have pre-sale tickets. When you guys leave the event tonight, I'll have them ready to go so you guys can start. And where do they special. find those? We sell out every year, by the way. Every and year. This Riverboat Crew sells out, too. But it's Homesteader, Homesteading Life Conference. Com. So Homesteadinglifeconference.com, and there's a link in the description. Thanks, Doug, for another great conference. Here. Well, we are on our way home from the Homesteading Life Conference. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, got to talk to some old friends and get to meet up with some new friends. Uh, our classes, I did a class on bread baking, uh, or basic uh, bread baking for dummies, it was, it was what Stacy named it. Two but classes. anyway, yeah, well, it was like, yeah, two classes, it was back to back, part one and part two. The first class was just the basics, and the second class got into more detailed stuff, talked about different flour, different things you can add to your bread to help make it rise better or make it fluffier. And then um, it ha I had great attendance, I was very, very pleased. People were very engaged, asked a lot of questions, and Tommy's class went very good too. Yeah, I had a good turnout uh, for my class as well, talking about how to navigate the aftermath of a traumatic event, because trauma happens to everybody, and uh, as has been the case every time I've made that presentation, uh, a couple of people kind of get set free uh, from yeah. who had experienced traumatic events in their life and uh, felt like there was something wrong with them uh, because of what kind of how they felt after it and stuff like that and so it was my pleasure to help them understand that they're perfectly normal that's right so anyway we are going to be stopping at a campground tonight and hopefully we'll get to show y'all some pretty pictures one more thing it. about the videos oh. they are on the oh, I'm yes. talking about the classes yes they are on the uh, our YouTube channel because we we had enough bandwidth to actually broadcast them live yeah so, so if um, you missed them you can go you can look them up 
how, how did you name them? How do you look them up? Well, yours, yours is Bread Making for Dummies, part one of two, and Bread Making for Dummies, part two of two. And Homesteading Life Conference is also in the title. Yeah, and so if you touch I, that. I don't remember surviving trauma or something. Um, um, also with Homesteading Life Conference in, in the title of mine. So you better find them like that. So go check them out if you'd like to see them. So we had a good night here. Tommy is picking up. Here's our coffee bag. We have our coffee pot in. And we just bring a plug. And I bring my little magic chef. And this is how I heat up our breakfast. I brought this already cooked biscuit and bacon. So it just has to be heated up. And so this is our campsite and we've been very pleased except for the mosquitoes uh, there are a lot of mosquitoes here so we it's not that cool cool enough to sleep but that's the reason for the long sleeves and <laughs> pants another good thing about bringing this and eating on paper plates and paper towels all you have to do is wipe it out and it's clean one of the problems we're having with our van camping is that uh, we don't have air conditioning when we're not running the van, and of course we can't run the van all night. Um, but since this cool front, which it's not real cool anymore, but it's, it was cool enough for us to sleep, uh, that's the only reason we're able to van camp on this trip. Uh, and uh, we forgot to get hotel rooms, so uh, that's the reason we uh, did van camp. and. Uh, but thank God it, it cooled off and we weren't miserable at all. It was it was quite comfortable But we've been trying to think of a remedy uh, for the air conditioning and we can't do we can't put an air conditioner on top because I've read about it and they said it would just drain our batteries, but um, I woke up before Tommy this morning I usually do and I had time to think because of course I couldn't use my phone for cell signal because we're in the middle of the woods and I got an idea Tommy here we go. Well, before we got the van, I had an idea of how we could camp, and that was with a truck camper. So, maybe a truck camper is in our future because it comes self-contained, and we would have air conditioning and a toilet. <laughs> the toilet's an issue too, y'all. <laughs> 